Oh my god. Oh no. This vehicle is actually giving me post-traumatic stress disorder. Vietnam flashbacks to one of the most disappointing or mediocre tanks in the game. And that is the stock turret of the TVP VTU. The cupola is a little bit different, but oh my god, playing with this thing is a nightmare. So you have to get through it to play with the Schroeder T50 or the 5051. Both of those are good, but oh no. <laughs> All right, welcome back, folks. So as mentioned in the last video, there's only one hidden vehicle in patch 1.12 on the common test server, and that is the Schroeder T45 a premium tier 7 Czechoslovakian heavy tank. So are we getting the crew trainer for the Czech heavies? That could be it, but this could be a mini branch like with the Italian heavies. I wouldn't expect a full line of heavy tanks for the Czechs, so alright. But it is a premium, so it makes more credits. And crew XP has a crew of 5, similar to the medium tanks like the TVP VTU, but it is a paper tank did not really exist. So let's take a look at the stats. It has an 88mm and penetration is average similar to the Tiger 1 or the VK4503H. But DPM wise, it's not as high as the Tiger 1. Has a little bit better armor though in comparison I guess. But accuracy is 0 0.36. Average 2.4 seconds of aim time. A little bit high but average. 7 degrees of gun depression, 15 elevation, average. Turns a little bit slow for a heavy tank that's more or less like a medium, so only 25 degrees per second. And takes about 7 seconds to reload the gun with a rammer, so gun's actually average ish. It reminds me of the VK4503H, slightly underperforming compared to the Tiger 1, but it has a little bit more armor, so that's the trade off. But let's take a look at the armor. 1400 health, not bad. 110 at the hull front, 160 at the cleft turret cheeks. But let's take an actual look at the armor. So upper plate is 167, 165-ish. Not bad at tier 7, not the worst. So it's okay, but large lower plate at about 130. So medium tanks. Most tank destroyers don't have that much of a pin for tier 7 other than the stirring mill. It's usually it's about 170-ish for tier 7 tank destroyers. Most of them anyways, but yeah, shoot the lower plate. Cleft turret cheeks, about 200 millimeters effective, so could bounce a few shells, but sometimes people will use gold. And yeah, gold shell will likely pin. Yeah, gold shell will pin if they're like 105 millimeter plus, or with the Russians like the 217 millimeters of pin for the APCR of the D25T, the 122. Yeah, they will pin. But you can also shot trap with a cleft turret, so shot trap from the bottom into the hull roof. That's a thing. But there is a mantlet, so don't shoot the mantlet. It will bounce all the shots. Yada yada. Commander Cupola is a weak spot, but the entire vehicle is actually a weak spot, so <laughs> similar to the TVP VTU. Hull size is 70. Alright, it is slightly sloped, but don't depend on it. Well, well don't heavily angle it, but alright, still okay-ish. Nothing to write home about, but alright. Armor-wise, I wouldn't say the best armor, but the engine deck is huge. <laughs> 25 millimeter for the engine deck. Turret roof is only 30, so gets artillery. It's a heavy tank, it gets artillery. So armor wise, it's like a VK4503, pretty much. And that vehicle is alright, it's not that great. <laughs> Mobility, about 14 horsepower per ton ratio, weighs about 47 tons. It's like a medium tank, a little bit fat, but alright. Only 30 kilometers per hour top speed that is slow 14 for reverse and about 26 degrees per second hull traverse it feels slow 
in terms of the top speed. But here is the terrain resistance. So 0 0.96 for hard, 1.44 for medium, and 2.4 for soft. Uh, that's like a KV4, pretty much. <laughs> It has the same terrain resistance for medium and soft as a KV-4. That is bad. <laughs> Carry 64 rounds, so that's good. And APCR for actually high explosive anti tank for a gold shield. All right, but yeah, that terrain resistance, not that great. <laughs> not that great. <laughs> Only 30 kilometers per hour top speed. This thing is slow. Does rev up pretty fast, but. Yep, I think 30 was the same for KV-4 as well. Oh, no. <laughs> has the same top speed and almost the same terrain resistance as a KV-4. Holy crap. <laughs> it does rev up to 30 km per hour top speed, so... But, oh my... Imagine a KV-4 with the hull of a TVPVTU. A little bit better, but not that much. Concealment, not that great. So it's a heavy, alright. And view range is average, 370. It could be a little bit better, but okay. So let's take a look at the comparison, but oh my god. <laughs> Same top speed and terrain resistance as a KV-4. Holy crap. So the most comparable vehicle that I could think of is the VK4503H. The Tiger 1.5, as well as the King Tiger, and then we can compare with the Tiger 1. But so penetration-wise, not as good as the Germans, not as good in terms of the Alpha, but reloads a little bit faster. DPM is the same as the Tiger variants, the Tiger 1.5 and the Tiger 2. Not as good as the Tiger 1, of course, but all right, a little bit better than the Carl P88, and this thing is a piece of shit. <laughs> It's not that great. <laughs> Has a little bit more armor than the Carl P88, but yeah, better turret armor to say the least. And weighs almost the least out of all of them. About the same as a Carl P88. So accuracy is not as good as the VK4503. And aim time is a little bit long. So similar to the King Tiger or Tiger 2 for the capture version. For Americans, obviously you cannot compare the armor of a King Tiger to this thing, so this thing is a lot better. <laughs> Horsepower per ratio is close to the Carl P88, but top speed is only 30. That's the worst. <laughs> Hull traverse is mediocre, not as fast as a VK, but not uh, not as worse as a King Tiger, so. Uh. Uh, camouflage rating is not as good as a Carl P88, but these are all crap, so it doesn't matter. And view range is better than the Carl P88, but that's not saying much. And this thing is a piece of <laughs> chunk garbage. So I would probably put, oh my god, uh, vents, likely vents to help out. It's not a heavy tank. Rammer to help out with the garbage DPM. Turbocharger? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. Turbocharger will make the top speed a little bit more bearable. A little bit. So you can play it like a medium. But. What else could you put? You don't need help with a gun other than DPM. Maybe of the accuracy or aim time, but. The vents will help with that. Yeah, I wouldn't put survivability. It's not meant to uh, bounce shells. This vehicle is not meant to bounce shells like a T29 or IS even or a KV3. So, blah. Or even a Porsche Tiger. Blah. So, yeah, maybe like this with a mobility buff. <sighs> well, there you go, folks. Post traumatic stress disorder. A very quick video because there's nothing interesting to talk about. It's practically a VK4503 with about the same armor. A little bit better turret armor. Actually, a lot better turret armor. But less pen, less alpha, same DPM, less gun depression. 
The 30 kilometers per hour top speed with a garbage terrain resistance is one of the biggest drawback to this vehicle. And... I don't know. <laughs> maybe they'll buff it, maybe, but... Has the same mobility in terms of a heavy tank as a KV-4. Let's see how fast... 26. Let's see how fast the KV-4 turns. <laughs> Just to compare. I have the KV-4. Oh. Well, it turns a little bit faster. But 20 compared to like what? 26? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> it turns like a K... It moves like a KV-4. It gets bogged down like a KV-4. Uh, well, we don't know what the Czechoslovakian heavy tanks are, so I have no idea. Maybe they have autoloaders at higher tier. That would be interesting, but similar to the medium tanks, that would be crazy. But this thing does not have an autoloader, so... Oh, well. Oh, no. It should be like a medium. It should pl be played like a medium, but... It is somewhat of a smaller target than a Tiger 1 or Tiger 2. So, that could be a thing, but... Oh... <laughs> Think of my KV-4! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! The same terrain resistance for medium and soft as a KV-4. Same top speed as well. You do rev up faster than a KV-4, but... Well, obviously, you are not going to compare the terrain resistance and horsepower per turn ratio as a medium to this thing. The only downside is this thing has only 65 millimeters of upper plate and turret armor, so that's not saying much, but uh, this thing could be so much better than a, than, than a garbage. <laughs> it could have an autoloader and it will help out a lot with this vehicle, but the 105 is wonky and DPM is not that good. 100 millimeter is also wonky. It's the same gun that's on the tier 7. The T-34-100, yep, it is. But, yeah, you use likely the 88, pretty much. Based on the DPM, based on the usage of the gun handling and stuff, but... Yeah, might as well play with the Indian Panzer. The penetration is a big downside for this vehicle. Unless you're shooting all gold shells, but... <sighs> well, there you go, folks. The Skuda T-45 may be coming soon. Indicating the introduction of the Czech's heavy tank line, like the Italian heavies, a mini branch. But for now, um, I will rate this vehicle as a. Hmm. Uh. Seven? The, the guns. Uh, would I rather use this vehicle than an IS 2? No, I wouldn't. I would rather use an IS 2 because. It's not slow. <laughs> IS-2 could perform like a medium tank when it's bottom tier in a tier 9 match. So I have my IS-2. Let's put IS, IS-2s. KV-122, piece of shit. I don't like that thing. <laughs> so let's see. Top speed of the IS-2s. Uh, traverse, faster. A lot faster traverse. Horsepower per turn ratio is not as bad, 34, so revs up pretty nicely. Um, but the point is, IS-2 and IS punches hard in terms of their gun. So they will take out a lot of the health away when they're wolf packing. But, and their armor is somewhat more trollish because of the turret sloping and as well as the, the sloping of the upper plate or side armor. So, yeah, IS is so good when you think about it. They could wolf pack like a medium and deal a lot of damage. The same alpha as a tier 9 heavy tank or tier 9 medium for some cases, but you just need to wolf pack. You, when you're wolf packing with this, you're, you won't turn as fast. So brawling is kind of out of the question and you don't punch as hard. So, alright. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. The Skoda T45. Uh, 6.5 out of 10. Maybe 6 out of 10. I do. You'll get owned by T29s. 
you'll get owned by medium tanks that circle strike this thing and this thing doesn't have armor so you don't punch as hard so you're not as threatening as something like a kv uh, kv3 or is in that kind of alpha damage so yeah six out of ten how did how much did i give the carl p88 like a five maybe 6.5 out of 10 maybe seven but i may be being a little bit too harsh for the introduction of the check heavies so who who knows but there you go folks Shkuda t45 coming soon to a store near you but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time peace